the new Star Wars series, The Acolyte, has been described as the most LGBTQ plus inclusive piece in the franchise, with characters like R2-D2 now identified as lesbian. I want to ask you both because this is, I would say, arguably the gayest Star Wars I think, by a considerable <laughs> margin. And uh, are you excited about that? Are you Not bracing yourself? Star Wars. Not the- <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gay, let's be honest. <laughs> Leslie, are you... How do you feel? Am I gay? You, yes. Well, no, I know yes. you are gay, but I'm asking, are you excited about putting this, you know, this is going to be a talking point. Is it going to be a talking point? I'm sure so. Because things. nerds are gay. Well, yeah. Not, well, some nerds are very not gay and are very threatened by gay Well, that's stuff. true. But yeah. in my world, nerds are gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was, this, was this a fun element of... No, <laughs> I don't think so. And yet people have told me that it's the gayest Star Wars, and I'm frankly... You're offended? Into it. Be- no, <laughs> I think that Star Wars is so gay already. Okay. I mean, have you seen it's the true. fits? <laughs> We'd be like, look how gay this is, and then send each other a reference. Photo. And are you <laughs> telling me with a straight face that C-3PO is straight? They're a couple. That's what I think. But <laughs> this is more outward. I think it's canon that R2-D2 is, is a lesbian. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Yeah. Huh. Ask Filoni. Okay. <laughs> Ask Filoni. Yeah, talk talk. Yeah, talk. Critics argue that Star Wars has always been a haven for traditional family values making it inappropriate to introduce overt LGBTQ plus themes into a children's series. They point out that the original Star Wars saga achieved immense success without delving into such themes, questioning the necessity of altering its content to align with modern social movements. Disney's transition from creating universally appealing content to focusing on specific social issues is seen by some as straying from the core elements that initially brought the franchise its widespread acclaim. The term woke is often used derogatorily to signal what some perceive as excessive political correctness and virtue signaling, emphasizing the LGBTQ plus aspects of the acolyte is viewed by these critics as an unnecessary politicization of entertainment, which they believe undermines the quality of storytelling. This shift risks alienating longtime fans who fear that prioritizing a super gay narrative is merely an attempt to capture the attention of a broader audience. 